15171 State versus Sarah Lynn. Possession of drug paraphernalia, possession of firearms for certain persons, other charges. And 12 26, which is an amended petition to revoke. I don't think she's been arraigned on the petition to revoke. Is that right? Your Honor, on the original uh, new criminal charge, you've already uh, executed the order on the motion to quash, so I think that one's going to go away. On the revocation, uh, it has just been amended, but we will enter an appearance on that. We have arranged a plea with the prosecutor uh, with his approval. My client <coughs> appeared in court, the court before, and Mr. McCouch said she was a little over $4,000 behind on payments to him. She paid $2,500 to avoid staying in jail that day. I have in my pocket an envelope with $1,555 in cash, and that will pay the balance of it, and we'll take care of that today. Uh, Mr. McCouch talked about, you might be able to pronounce this thing, Tetelestai House in Omaha, outside of Harrison. Say that again. T E T E L E S T A I. It means it is finished. I think it's either Latin, Hebrew, or something. But anyway. What about it? Pardon me? What about it? <laughs> this is the house, the place that Mr. Couch had recommended that she look into. She has been able to do that. Uh, she has signed up for that. It's going to be paid for by Obamacare. She will be there for one year in that program. And this is the letter we have from Tracy Lindsay, their director, uh, dated December 8th. They have a bed waiting for her. Uh, well, they're waiting for an opening for a bed. And the prosecutor has agreed that she will pay this money today, which I already have it. Uh, and then she will go, and then whenever the bed opens up and they notify her, she must immediately surrender to this whatever house. And... Uh, then she will spend one year in a drug treatment program there. How do you pronounce it? I don't know. I'll set it for hearing on January 7th before Judge Webb, and she can firm up that. And take All right. It from there. Thank you. Thank you. 15169 State versus Christopher Knapp. Knapp. 15169. Possession of methamphetamine, controlled substances, paraphernalia, DWI. Your Honor, part of the, the DWI portion of this, I'm going to put him in touch with Ms. Fagan. Um, obviously, that's a requirement before he can get his driver's license back is to take the classes with her. Okay. And so that would be a term of, of this plea. Sir, I'm looking at a police statement here. Have you gone over this document? Yeah. Yes. And did you sign it, sir? Yes, sir. Okay. You feel you understand the matters set out in the, the police statement? Completely. You understand the <coughs> charges against you and the range of penalties if you're convicted? Yep. Are you pleading guilty to uh, possession of methamphetamine? Yep. <coughs> yes. Are you pleading guilty to DWI? Yes. And the misdemeanor possession of a controlled substance, are you pleading guilty to that also? You know, it, yeah, but entering your plea, you're giving up your right to have a trial. You give up your right to have a trial, and you also give up your right to an appeal. Do you understand that? Yep. Are you entering this plea freely and voluntarily? Yes. Other than what's set out in this plea statement and the uh, terms and conditions, other than that, have you been promised anything? No. Have you, has anyone threatened or pressured you in order to get you to change your plea? No. Okay. And are you pleading guilty, sir, because you're, in fact, uh, guilty of these crimes? Yes, sir. On or about uh, January 3rd of this year, here in Baxter County, were you driving while intoxicated? Yes. Okay. Uh, did you have some methamphetamine in your possession? Yes. And the misdemeanor controlled substance was probably some marijuana? You had some marijuana with yep. you? This time, sir, I'll accept your plea. I judge you guilty on the this is not 346, is no. it? No. Okay. All right. On the uh, possession of methamphetamine, you'll be placed on four years 
supervised probation. Uh, you'll receive a 90-day suspended sentence on the DWI to the county jail on the DWI. One year's probation on the misdemeanor possession of a controlled substance. Those are run concurrent. You pay $200 in regular court costs, $300 in DWI court costs, a $700 DWI fine, a drug crime assessment of $125, $1,000, additional $1,000 fine, a DNA fee of $250, a $20 booking fee, pay what you owe at the rate of $100 per month beginning within 30 days. You make your payments to the Baxter County Sheriff's Department.